everyone, namaste. Today I want to show you a wonderful sequence that you can practice any day and it's really good for opening the hips, making the spine nice and limber and flexible and also using some core strength. And it's called the lunge sequence. And many of you will know the lunge sequence from the Essentials class or from the Stamina class. And here you have the YouTube video so you can practice it at home. All right, so come to stand onto the top of your mat and have some blocks next to you. It's really good to have them there in case you need them. And start by really grounding down through the feet. So feel like you want to press the feet into the earth so that the energy can rebound back up into your legs. So you feel like the thighs are lengthening upwards, the tailbone lengthens down, the chest is lifted, but not the shoulders. So they go down, turn the palms out, inhaling, lifting the arms up, look up, palms together, exhale, fold, leading with the heart. Now you can bend the knees once you're halfway. Inhale, lift and lengthen, come up halfway, look up, gently arch the spine. Bend the knees, exhale, step the right foot back, right knee to the floor, right foot to the floor. Inhale, come up. Arms or hands onto the knee and exhale, sinking down. While you're sinking down, pay attention to the area that you cannot see, your back and your glutes. And if you try to soften those areas, it's possible to maybe sink a little bit deeper. Make sure the knee is directly over the heel, so have a look. If it's in front, do not adjust the front foot, but the back leg. Slide it back a little. Just let the eyes drop, so try not to look at me, unless you can do a meditative looking. So what you want to do is really draw the attention inwards. So you can really focus on the softening of the back and the hips. And staying here for another breath. And place the hands onto the knee, press down. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, sink down, arms by your side. Inhale, lift up, lift the arms. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale, lift up, lift the arms. Exhale, sinking down. This time the arms stay up. Inhale, lift up, lift the arms. The palms can face each other or you can bring the palms together. If that's strain in your shoulders, keep the hands shoulder width apart. You have the fingers, so hands together, reach the index finger up. And again, focus on the parts that you cannot see as you slowly sink down. If you feel compression, Take the arms down, that's better. Then exhale, hands down, look down and strongly round the spine like that. Then press the back knee forward, just pressing so you have this maximum space in your spine as you walk back. Inhale, lift and lengthen, arching the spine. Exhale, folding forward, neutral spine. So folding forward, not rounding down. There's a distinct difference. It's not about how far your head comes down, it's far your chest moves forward. And you can have a slight bend in the knee or stronger bend if your hamstrings are tight. Just staying here and not deepening at all. Just letting the pose settle. Now, if your fingertips are just on the mat, Take blocks underneath the hands so that you have a full surface area underneath the hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen, arching the spine, and then feel like you can draw the tummy inwards and upwards so that the tummy lengthens you forward. And then press the hands onto the blocks back. So you want to press the hands back so you feel like the chest lengthens forward. Just watch for a moment again what my shoulders are doing. When I press the hands back, shoulders draw away from the ears. That's what we're going to feel. Another breath. Then release the pressure and shift the weight forward. Take the left foot to the left side of the mat, both hands to the inside of the left foot. Here the blocks may come in handy. So if your hips are tight, take the blocks high. They are a bit more flexible, turn the blocks down or take the blocks away. And you can turn the left foot out to the left or even let it drop on its side. 
and then letting the head hang completely. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, let the shoulders drop. And let that softness travel down the spine, from the upper back to the middle, to the lower back. Sinking down into the hips. And you slowly walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Walk the left foot in a bit, left hand to the outside of the left foot. Now take a block underneath the right hand on its lowest height. Tuck the back foot under, straightening the back leg. Lean into the right hand and now watch my right shoulder. I push the block away from you. So I push the block away from you. So I lift out of the right shoulder. Turn the chest to the left. Look up. And only if the chest is turned, lift your arm. If your chest is looking down, it's not really good, good or healthy to lift the arm. So really focusing on turning the chest and then lifting the left arm up. You want to keep pushing through the right hand, lifting out of the right shoulder and reaching up to the left fingertips, as well as reaching back through the back leg. Exhale, take the left hand down, drop the back knee. Keep the back foot tucked under. Rock back. You can do this with blocks or without. Now, think about being a sprinter. You feel like you want to kick with your back foot forward. And it's not a stepping forward. It's a transferring the weight into the left foot. So you kick with the back, transfer weight into the left, and then step forward. Come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Take the feet a bit wider, bend the knees and press the feet apart as you inhale, come up to standing, lift the arms as you straighten the legs, exhaling. Must TTV, second side, bring the feet a bit closer together, grounding down to the feet, turn the palms out. Inhale, lifting the arms all the way up, look up. Palms together, exhale, forward leading with the heart. Inhale, lift that length and gently arch the spine, look up. Bend the knees, exhale, step the left foot back. Left knee to the floor, left foot to the floor. Inhale, come up, arms or hands under the knee. Focus on the areas that you cannot see. Soften those areas, hips, glutes, lower back, sinking down. If these areas are really tight, it's better to lean forward more than really slowly Try to come up. No compression in the back. So it's better to keep leaning forward until the body understands that it's safe to come up. So we need to sometimes give the body a bit of time to ease into the posture. When the eyes drop, face is soft, breath is smooth and easy. Place the hands on the knee, press down, inhale, lift and lengthen, exhale, sink down, arms by your side. Inhale, lift up, lift the arms, exhale, sinking down. Inhale, lift up, lift the arms, exhale, sinking down, this time the arms stay up. Inhale, lift up, lift the arms, hands face each other, or palm, palm, palms come together, in which case the index finger reach up. Now the energy is going up. As you're sinking down, so reach up as high as you can as you slowly let the hips sink down, softening through the back. Exhale, take the hands down. Look down, round the spine, and as you walk back, press the back knee forward so that you're rocking back this maximum space. Inhale, lift and lengthen, gently arching the spine. And exhale, folding forward, neutral spine. So not rounding down, lengthening forward. And just letting the body adjust. Stay here. If a slight bend in the knee or a stronger bend in the knee if the hamstrings are tight. And always make sure you feel a stretch in the belly of the muscle, not in the area where the muscle attaches to bone. 
So to deepen, you really want to make sure that the hands are flat on the surface. So if your hands are not on the mat, take the hands onto the blocks. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, feel like you can zip the whole tummy upwards, lengthening forward, then pressing the hands towards the back knee. Shoulders draw away from the ears, chest lengthens forward. Release the pressure, shift the weight forward, walk the right foot towards the right side of the mat, both hands to the inside of the right foot. Forearms to the blocks. High or low or no blocks. So don't get too ambitious. Only take the blocks away if your elbows are flat on the mat. If they are up high, your shoulders cannot relax. So elbows need to be on the surface. Feel free to turn the right foot out to the right or let it drop on its side, letting the head hang completely. Take a deep breath in. And on the breath out, let the shoulders drop and let that softness travel down the spine. From the upper back to the middle and lower back. Sinking down into the hips. Then we walk the hands back underneath the shoulders. Walk the right foot in a bit, right hand to the outside of the right foot. Block underneath the left hand. On its lowest height, tuck the back foot under, straightening the back leg. Lean into the left hand, and now you can see probably a bit better and push the block away from you. So you're lifting out of the left shoulder. See, this is sagging in the shoulder. This is lifting. So push the block away. Lean into the left hand. The chest turns to the right. Looking up and then unfolding, uncurling the right arm up. Keep reaching up to the right fingertips. Pushing down to the left hand. Lifting out of the left shoulder. Strong back leg. Exhale, take the right hand down, drop the left knee. Again, you can use the blocks for the step forward. Back foot is tucked under, that's the sprinter foot. Transferring all the weight into the right foot. So give a little kick with the back foot. Transfer weight forward and step in. Come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Take the feet a bit wider. Keep the knees bent and press the feet apart as you inhale. Come up to standing, lift the arms as you straighten the legs. Exhaling. Samastitihi. So if you only have, you know, 10 or 15 minutes, a lunch sequence is a really good way to, you know, get a little bit of yoga into your life. Thank you so much.